We now understand uh, a little bit about uh, blending, uh, blend the surface. So uh, now I'm going to do a demo. Open in your homework folder 4-04. One of my view is a little bit uh, wrong, the top view. The top view is not really a top view, so we need to set this one to top. So right click on the tag and uh, go to set view and select top. So it restored to top view. Uh, let's look at what we have here. We have a couple of things. One is kind of a squarish a complex and another is a, a surface right here uh, with two flat one and two curvy one in the middle and a couple of shapes here and uh, another uh, blended surface right here. So uh, let's do our first one is relatively simple is this complex here. I delete what I have already done and redo it. Our goal is to blend this surface with this surface and using one of the edge from each surface. So let's go and select the two bar, go to surface tools, select um, blend surface, and of course we always read the comment line, select segment for first edge. We'll select one and uh, continue to read. Select next segment for the first edge. Press enter when done. We should at this point press enter because we only have one segment for the first edge. So press enter. And now we should select the second edge. So just keep in mind that you, you have to press enter uh, between the two edge. If you don't, it will consider it to be a two segment of the same of the first edge rather than the second edge. So we did that and I press enter. Um, as you can see now, it sort of uh, created already a wireframe. Uh, you would assume eventually the uh, the blend surface will happen somewhere defined by this uh, two curvy lines. And we have a window we could adjust a little bit. As you can see, the control point is changed after we adjusting them. So you could play a little bit with it. Uh, basically, one is getting bigger and another end is getting smaller. So if we're happy with it, say OK. So this blend surface in the middle is done. It's a little bit uh, tense here. It feels very sharp. So maybe we need to modify a little bit. I will redo. Select the first edge, press enter. Select the second edge, press enter. Uh, and let's look at it. This time I think it's probably even it's really twisted, but uh, anyway, I click on OK, because what happened is probably where you click on the edge is on the opposite direction. So it wouldn't consider to be wrong. It's just where you click matters. So I delete this. So I'm going to try to click on the end that I really need uh, to match. So when I click, I would click the far end from this edge and uh, the top end actually forgot this is very easy go back to the toolbar again and click the far end press enter because i just forgot enter and uh, and now i'm selecting my second edge on top of it press enter and uh, at this point if we don't use the uh, slider here we could uh, adjust by clicking on the control point so for example i'm clicking here uh, and maybe a little bit there to drag. 
um, or you could select the third one. As you can see, uh, there are three control points, one, two, and three. For each of the corner, uh, the third control point, as you drag it, uh, yeah, uh, as you drag it, you see a little bit uh, change, but not too much because the second one hasn't been changed. So, but if I drag my second one, I could have much more dynamic change. So that says something about which one will cause a more important change is the second control point. Uh, the third one, as long as you drag it, it sort of uh, changes, but since the second doesn't change, the shape remains uh, relatively close to its original status. So I will say I'm done with it. Okay. So this time is even worse. Okay, uh, the shape is really distorted. Mm -hmm. So let's try it again. Remember to click on the right end and press enter and click on the other end, press enter. And uh, probably uh, because they are too close to each other, so I'm going to drag them a little bit far and by dragging my second control point. This one, because I'm trying to not to uh, let the middle part go too much close to each other. So maybe I drag a little bit over. So maybe this point goes so uh, a little bit over. So, so they have a little bit more space between each other. So they, they would not uh, you know, get a little bit twisted in the middle. So then we see, okay, so this time we have much more sort of a smooth transition uh, between the two edges. And then what are we going to do with uh, this part? We need to fill in uh, with a planar surface. So I will, this is a surface so far, so the edge is uh, really not there yet. So I need to first also bring out the edge by doing duplicate the border or duplicate the face border. I'll do that, okay. So once I've done that, I have the wireframe and I need to explode it. So this we have already, I have already taught you. So I'm going to delete whatever that I don't need because I only need this curve right here. Without this curve, I won't be able to construct a planar surface. So I'm going to select the two, which is called planar surface, and select one, and two, and three, and press enter. So I have a surface there, something like this. So this is just one exercise of how to do a blend surface. I'm going to continue to uh, work on a shape like this. I'm going to have to delete so that I will reconstruct. Uh, as you can see, there are two pieces and a ring, a circle in the middle. So this is a surface and this is surface, but uh, the middle one is just a, a circle. So um, if I bring back my previous one, there are actually two blend surfaces happening. One is uh, from the first surface to the circle and another is from the circle to the second surface. However, as how we understand about a blend surface, uh, it can only blend the surface. So the circle in the middle would not uh, help us to accomplish our goal. So we need to have a surface instead of just the circle. Uh, so I'm going to do just simply do a planar surface. And uh, now I have a surface, which is a vertical with a circle as the edge. So now I can do blend surface. Click on blend surface, select the first edge, and press enter, and select the second edge. Um, as you can see, they're kind of uh, uh, in line with each other. Uh, you can almost uh, move one of them just a little bit. Yeah, so of course they will, this will create a little bit of change. And press enter. Again, let's look at the continuity. There's a continuity G2 and G1. Uh, we normally 
for blend surface, we should use G2 and G2, which will give us more control points, and uh, it would be much more smoother. And then click on OK. Of course, you can see, you know, just a little bit play with a little arrow on the edge. We sort of have a little bit twist there. So, so this is finished. Let's rotate. I think this one is probably not really what I want, but is, is kind of an interesting result. I see that something is not according to my original plan, so I need to investigate a little bit. Why is it this one different than the other one? So I made a copy. I probably just cut it so I can bring it back later. So let me redo. We'll just click on redo. As we can see, this is uh, different than the one we did. Okay, as you can see, this shape is not exactly the shape as we want because it's sort of a flat in the middle rather than going through a transition from one to another. Uh, maybe if I put on a little bit more shiny. So this sort of a goes transition from here and to the middle and then and then continue to have a transition. But this one, if we finish, uh, it would be dramatically different than this one. So, uh, so what is the problem is the surface that we have, uh, where we had in the middle, uh, is a basically a wrong uh, surface. So um, I'm going to do a different one is by using extrude. And I select both sides going to uh, my selection after I done selecting extrude. I should select both sides. Yeah, just, just to give a little bit of distance there, but no, no need for, to have a lot of distance. So, so in this case, I, I create another surface out of the circle, but a different direction. Uh, I think this with, with this, we should be able to construct a blend surface like uh, what we are hoping for. So let's go and uh, click on the toolbar of blend surface. Blend surface, select the first segment and select. Actually, this is a, a little bit of tricky selection, so make sure that we can select the right edge. This would be an edge, and there's, there's no edge in the middle of this. So, but we have an edge here. So we, although we're doing just slightly different, but uh, is getting close to what we're hoping. I guess maybe the cylinder is a little bit too, too much distance. So, um, or otherwise, if we want to use, uh, this is another question that we probably just want to do two of the extrusion, but both on one side. So I do one extrusion. And with this, I'm going to work on my blend and I delete the form and do another blend. So let's do a blend because what happened is when we extruded the uh, cylinder, the cylinder has uh, quite a bit of depth and it almost protruded out of the, the original surface. So now I'm going to do a, a blend surface, the first edge. First edge, press enter. Second edge, press enter. And this is pretty much what we're hoping for. It's very close to, to this one. Of, of course, we can sort of also drag the control point and make it even closer to this. So let's flip to the other end. Delete this shape using the same ring in the middle and now extrude it to the other direction. So, and then I'm going to do a blend surface. Select, first edge, press enter. Second edge, uh, either one will do, and press enter, and press. So now, uh, let's look at the curve that's generated for us. This is basically the profile of eventually what's going to be accomplished for uh, a sort of like a ring shape. So as we know, we can modify it. 
if I drag my second control point and get it closer, but not really overlapping to the first one. Uh, this one is probably snapped and overlapped. That, that's fine, it's exercise, so I'm not continue. Uh, but uh, as you can see, you can sort of uh, drag and change the shape a little bit and then say okay. So, so that's the, the blend surface for this project. Once you're done, you should delete the cylinder and uh, that's just a supporting, you know, you can't accomplish without the cylinder, but uh, once you're done, you don't need that shape anymore. Okay, so let's look at all of this. So th this should be pretty simple and easy blend surface. I will just demonstrate on one. Click on the first edge, press enter, the second edge, press enter, and okay. If you don't want to change, that's simply how those things will work. That's an uh, exercise for you to do, and I'm going to move on to this shape right here. So this is the same challenge as the, uh, the one that we just did as the uh, ring in the middle. This sort of uh, has a similar challenge. If I hide this two, as you can see, what we have is two vertical surface and a line in the middle. As we know, there's a two blend surfaces here. So the line in the middle is not going to work. It has to be a surface, but what surface is that? Uh, the line certainly can have a surface uh, using extrude and they can go a different direction, but if we look at it on height, if we look at this one and how this is transferred to a shape here, you, you will realize that's um, uh, going to be a vertical surface ra rather than a horizontal surface if you look at the, the profile from, uh, from the side. Extrude, so you know that this extrusion is probably wrong direction, so click on direction and uh, I will switch to a different view so that I can select a vertical direction which can be anywhere and uh, as you can see uh, on the perspective view is going upwards so that's good I could use the same surface and uh, do another extrusion which goes from top to bottom so so now I basically created two surfaces out of this line so I'm going to use this, the bottom one, and match or blend with the top one, and vice versa, I'm going to use the top one here and blend with the bottom one. So let's quickly do half of it. Uh, click on blend surface, select the edge, make sure you are selecting from the same end, so you're, if you're clicking here, you should click here rather than the other end for the second surface. Press enter, and I'm going to click here. Uh, the face edge, that's fine, and press enter. Uh, I think it's probably the direction. We can click OK and see what's going on. I would say it works here, but it didn't work here because this is flipped upwards. Let's look at it and see what's the problem. Select the first edge and press enter and select. Uh, see, uh, there's a, there are two surface edge. One is going upwards. I probably select the wrong edge and another is going downwards. We need the one goes downwards. Yeah. So, I, oh, I, I, I need to. Press enter. So that, that says how easy that you forgot to, to press enter. So press enter between the two selections and then of course click there and you realize there are two surface edge. The one pointing down is probably the edge from the bottom surface. So I select this one and I press enter. And now I say okay without doing any change. So now we've done this blend surface, so you can delete the surface once you finish the project. Yeah, that's this uh, lecture for now.